Game 2 of the NHL Stanley Cup Finals between the Edmonton Oilers and Florida Panthers. We'll discuss the total that we cashed in our Game 1 video, but more importantly, we'll go over a player prop that's actually a client play tonight. I'm Steve Seagrave from SportsMemo.com. I also have a special offer to share with you guys at the end of the video, but for now, if you guys could hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and let us know in the comments section who do you guys like in this game, whether it be a side, a total, a player prop, I'd love to hear from you, and I'll be checking the comments throughout the night and responding back to you guys, so let us know. Looking at Game 2, Edmonton Oilers at Florida Panthers. Puck drops 8, 10 p.m. Eastern on ABC. Currently, we got Florida sitting at negative 135 on the money line. Edmonton plus 114. Total, same as last game, at 5.5. And, and we know that was a stone-cold under in that one where we saw Florida prevail 3-0. It was a, the, the under was basically a lock throughout the game. Even the third goal was an, on the empty netter. And we went over that one in the game one video. You know, that was our that was our play for the video. We also gave out the Oilers at plus money to win the series, which I still think there's a path for that to happen, although it would have been nice to wait one game and get that in now that they're, I think they're plus 210 now to win the series. I still think there's a path for Edmonton, despite how dominant Florida looked in game one. Like I said, we, we gave out that under in that first in that first video, 3 nothing in that game. And again, they, they scored in the empty net, so it was basically like a stone-cold block. Oilers outshot Florida in that game 32-18 despite losing and not scoring a goal in the game. It was really that Florida defense, and, and man, Bob Provsky was standing on his head. He's, he's tough to score on. You can't score on him through the five-hole. He's, he's a shutdown goalie right now, and he's on he's one of those ones where if he gets on a tear, you better look out. So Edmonton's got to put in some work tonight to even this series up. We're going over the under again here. I can't see stepping away from it. It's kind of like a situation where if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? I mean, you look at these two teams defensively throughout the postseason. Now recently, Florida only allowing 2.17 goals against number one in the NHL. Edmonton only 2.63 uh, two goals or less for each goalie now. Skinner on a nine of his last 10 game streak. Bobrovsky, 11 of his last 12 games now. He's allowed two goals or less. So both goaltenders have been putting in some work. And then as far as the under streak, we went over that last time. It's the last 10. We'll just look at it last 11 now. Edmonton, 2 8 and 1. Florida, 2 and 9 to the under over their last 11 games. So, like I said, if it's the type of situation where we've got to see. These goals, we got to get see six goals in the game before we're going to take the over. It will make that a lean for this one. It's not an official play over at sportsmemo.com. But um, an official play that we're going to go over right now is actually one I really love. Evan Bouchard, over two and a half shots on goal. It's about negative 130 right now over at DK. So game one, he lands four shots on goal on a ridiculous, staggering <laughs> 16 attempts, just in a ridiculous amount of attempts. And if you look at the last regular season game against Florida, he lands six shots on goal on 11 attempts. He's over in five of his last seven head-to-head -head games against the Florida Panthers, averaging 8.1 attempts per game during that span. And I would fully expect the Oilers to be firing away again tonight. They don't want to go down 2 nothing, obviously. And they were firing away in game one. I'd expect more of the same. Bouchard, he's out there for the most of any player Basically, I mean, he led the Oilers in minutes with 27, a little over 27 minutes. And he also led them in shifts with 24. So he's seeing more ice time than anyone on the team. He isn't a way to, uh, afraid to fire away those shots either, from even as a defenseman. And, um, I mean, the six, 16 attempts is just ridiculous volume. I wouldn't expect that again. But even if he were to get, like, half that, you know, 8 to 10 attempts, I would gladly take an over 2.5 shots on goal. It's actually an official client play for me over at sportsmemo.com. But if you want my favorite play of the night, you'll have to check that out over at, like I said, at sportsmemo.com. It's actually a plus money player prop. And the Bouchard play is attached to the package as well. But I give you that one in the video, obviously. We're running a special deal over at Sports Memo right now. Seven day all access pass, only $64. Breaks down to $9 a day. That's all access, all sports, 5% plays. If you look at it, a normal three-day pass is $49. So for an extra $15, bucks, you get an extra four days of all-access. And for me, that includes the rest of the NHL Cup, the rest of the NBA Finals, 
WNBA player props, MLB, and speaking of the five, uh, speaking of NBA, I have another five percent NBA play locked and loaded. We're, we're running hot in the NBA. We're crushing it. Uh, we we went two and zero last night, three and zero now on the NBA Finals. And I already have my 5% play locked and loaded for Wednesday. It wasn't a 5%er last night. We cashed a 4% and a 2% play in that game. But, uh, yeah, 11-1 best bet run, number one the last 30 days over at SportsMemo.com. And, uh, like I said, 3-0 and now in the finals. So you can get that all over at SportsMemo. Grab that. I would go with that all-access pass. Only $64 for seven days. You get to see what I have to offer you guys long-term. I'm in action every. We'll have MLB stuff up tonight. I have a WNBA player prop already locked and loaded, and like I said, the NHL pack is locked and loaded as well. You can also check out Sports Memo for daily free plays and my Twitter as well, Steve's Book Twenty Two over at on X or Twitter, whatever you want to call it. But uh, yeah, I've I've hit my last four free plays over at Sports Memo, and I offer free plays on Twitter as well. There'll be a link attached to the video. Let me know who you guys like in this game. And hit the like button on the way out. I appreciate it. Good luck tonight, guys, and enjoy the game.